Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for commenting like nice comments on my last video. Uh, it was like the video there was like um, me coming up with a video idea. It makes me so happy that people, there's people in this world who like want to watch this. Want to watch me. That's like so uplifting. Thank you so much for sticking around and just watching this bullshit that I do, <laughs> that I make. And I also got some good advice. Someone told me uh, my advice is to lay off the drugs, uh, to just get moving and start growing a YouTube channel. I'm like, you know what? Thank you for that advice. I'm just going to grow my YouTube channel. I'm just going to make videos, whether they're good or bad. I'm going to be like Kyle Monkey. Have you ever seen Kyle Monkey? He's like, he just makes videos and he's like acting silly in them. Uh, I should just like do random videos. Like if I feel like rambling for 10 minutes is what I want to do, then maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll like react to some videos as well. And maybe I'll do a bunch of things. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm just watching all these uh, video ideas, 100 plus video ideas for any YouTuber. And you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, maybe my videos are going to be bad f for the first couple times but if I if I edit my videos I don't feel like editing videos because it just takes too much time for me and I just I don't have time for that ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that um, so I just it's so nice when I like make the shittiest video and people still watch and still comment nice things it's so nice to get nice comments you guys if, if you're just watching maybe leave a nice comment because it really does encourage me it makes me want to make more videos and it just gives me confidence in this journey of mine. I'm going to be doing this for a long time and hopefully one day I'll gain a lot of subscribers and views, but but for now I'm just going to do my thing and like ramble and then maybe do some videos where I'm like talking about what's on my iPhone and what's on my iPod and I'm going to do a series, okay? Where I'm going to give out like songs of the week. So I'm going to like I usually like look for songs like throughout my life. I just like look for songs that I love music. So I'm gonna like give you all the latest weekly songs. Like each week, I'll have like 50 songs to do in a video. Uh, 50 songs is a lot of it, songs. Okay, maybe like 25 songs to 50 songs. I'll just do songs of the week uh, slang thing because I love music and I like sharing it because then people can under understand who I am <laughs> and like you know just listen to good music. Music is everything. I love music. Um, so I'm just going to continually watch this 100 video ideas for any YouTuber and take notes. I'm just going to go for it. We're going to react to it. With me, shop with me, pack with me. Shop with me and pack with me. See, I love shop with me videos. I think I'm going to do some shop with me videos. Okay, I'm just I'm writing this all down because I want to do one video where I'm like video ideas. Okay. Shop with me series. I'm like literally gonna do a series because I can just go go to uh, the mall and try on clothes um, for fun and video fun. I'm gonna go do that today. I'm gonna go shop. Actually, once I finish my work, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the mall and we're gonna take some videos and of all my outfits and everything. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna do another one of those things. I think those are popular and I think it's fun for me to shop and like try and close and feel good. I, I don't like feeling bad. I like feeling good. Okay. So we're just gonna keep on listening. Wait, what did you say before? Shop with me. Pack with me. Pack with me. Uh, like this girl talks so fast, it's kind of hard to like. I have to like pause it to write this down. But how to pack for vacation? Travel packs. How to pack for vacation? Pack for vacation. Travel hacks. I don't know what hacks are. Like, what are hacks? Travel diary. Travel routine. Oh, travel diary. Ooh, travel diary. Ooh, reading my diary. Reading my diary. I'm gonna read my diary to you guys. Like diary reading, <laughs> secrets, and be like highlight secrets. 
Secrets. Okay. Things to do when you're bored. How I film my videos. How I edit. Oh, uh, things to do when I'm bored. I think I've already done a video like that, but. In my videos. What's in my backpack? What's in my purse? What's in my beach bag? Road trip essentials. School outfit. Road trip essentials. Yes. Oh my god, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh my god, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a road trip video, like where I just drive and talk. <laughs> yeah. Good ideas. How to stay organized. How to stay motivated. Skincare routine. Hair care routine. What's in my shower. Bathing suit collection. Hat collection. Sunglasses collection. Oh, that's Blog. good. Um, bathing suit collection. Sunglasses collection. Um. Fuck. Frick. Vlogs. Vlogmas. House tour. 50 things. Oh, Vlogmas. What's Vlogmas? What is a Vlogmas? That's what I want to know. Things you didn't know about me. Spring. Oh, that's a good idea. Things you didn't know about me. Tags, summer tags, fall tags, winter tags. Okay, seasonal tags. <laughs> seasonal tags. Yes, that's a good idea. Season essentials. Mo Season essentials. I love the fall. I love the fall fall vids monthly favorites Pro monthly favorites monthly favorites oh you know what I was gonna do I was gonna do like pumpkin spice video try try video I'll do holiday videos Holiday videos like Halloween, Halloween costume. Oh, Halloween costume. Frick. Costume ideas with makeup, etc. No, ETC. This spell check is so bad. Okay. Product empties. Makeup for beginners. Makeup for middle school. She's talking so quickly, I can't register. Product MDs, makeup for beginners. Make what is product MDs? Makeup for middle school. Make makeup for beginners. Makeup for beginners. Makeup for middle school. Good for high school. Door oh, I should just do like a uh, turn on camera and watch videos <laughs> and kind of react. React to them. Okay, what did she say before? I like totally lost my train of thought. Makeup for high school, dorm room tour, college life advice, middle school advice, high school advice, how to handle freshman year, how to get good grades, how to start a successful YouTube channel, favorite makeup products, lazy day hairstyles, prom hairs. Favorite makeup. Uh, lazy day hair. You know what my lazy day hair is? Fucking just messy bun. Or like a... Style. How I curl my... Prom hairstyles. How I already done how I curl my hair. My hair. How I straighten my hair. Spring break outfit ideas. What's in my hair? How I straighten my hair. That's, that's a good one. But my hair is naturally straight, so. So. So, I mean, Betty can get a little crumpy. Crumpily, dumpily. Right. 
pick outfit ideas. What's in my carry-on bag? Spring break outfit ideas. Who the fuck wears like spring break outfits? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like what? Boys versus girl videos. Birthday gift ideas. Christmas. Boys versus girls video. Whatever. Um, gift ideas. Gift ideas. Things to do in summer. What I got for my uh for birthday and frick. Birthday and Christmas. I think this is gonna be I think I'm pretty much I'm just gonna keep on going with this video. Gift ideas for birthday and Christmas. What did you say before? Christmas gift ideas. Things to do in summer. What I got for my birthday. Things to do in summer. Half these things I already have, so. What I got for Christmas? Trying weird candy. Trying foreign candy. Trying weird things. Trying weird candy. Trying weird things. Trying foreign candy. Trying foreign candy slash foods. Whatever that is. Seasonal lookbooks. DIY emergency kit. What's on my iPhone? DIY emergency kit. I already have what's on my iPhone. Story time. My experience with how to pass your driving. My experience with how to pass your driving test. How to avoid. Mm. Okay. Test how to tie dye. Bathing suit collection. How, how to tie dye. How to tie. How to tie dye. Bathing suit. I don't have like no bathing suits. Bathing suit collection. Pants collection. <laughs> How to make money as a teen. Pants collection. Shirts collection. I, I don't like how long could a video be like? It wouldn't be even that long. Seasonal inspiration. A what, what does she say? Collection. How to make money as a teen. Seasonal. How to make money as a teen. How to make money as a teen. Alright, that's cool. Inspiration. A giveaway. Survival guide. Seasonal inspiration. Seasonal inspiration. How to survival guide. How I edit my Instagram photos. Black. Friday She's like, I'm just like adjusting my hair. <gasps> like, you know, those like high school girls that are just like adjusting their hair like <laughs> I'm so mean, but survival guide, how I edit my Instagram photos, Black Friday haul, every day. Who the frick does Black Friday? Black Friday, not me. Day haul. I'll be like how to get all the good stuff on Black Friday, avoiding the crowds. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. A girl struggles. Nail tutorial. Party ideas. So there you have it. That's a hundred plus video ideas for anyone that's looking for ideas, someone that's stuck trying to find ideas, someone who has video block. They can't think of what videos they want to make. I'm sorry those video, those ideas were kind of like jumbled up. I just kind of wrote them down as I thought of them. So that's that. So yeah. How do you, but the, these are all crappy, you know? It's like, I want to have good series. Like, something like these, all this stuff is so generic. Like, I'm Jay Wildclay, and you're about to learn all the secrets to getting famous here on YouTube. So come with me on a journey. But first, let me put on my glasses to give you the illusion that I'm actually smart. And let's go.
All right, I know you guys are going to find this one hard to believe, but secret number one is you actually have to make videos. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so true. Like, I just have to make videos. They could be crappy, they could be the worst things in the entire universe, but there's going to be subscribers eventually, so i got to make YouTube videos. This guy is smart. He's got glasses on and he's, he's smart. See, i got to write this down here. Make YouTube videos, okay? I have like a list of make YouTube videos. Like I gotta have, I gotta have ideas for YouTube. I'm just gonna watch all these videos and hopefully you're gonna watch it with me, so. And you might be surprised, but at least a couple times a week I get somebody asking me, hey, can you give my channel a shout out? Can you give me a shout out? And sometimes I'll go and check out their channel and a lot of the time, here's what I see. No uploads, no channel. But now you may be thinking, oh man, that, that's a lot of work. I gotta be good at creating videos and I gotta be funny. Wrong! Making actually good videos is bad. I mean, look at this. Oh, I like, okay. Don't try to make good videos. Just do it. Just, just, just make it. Just post it. Just Upload it. Be Alright, I just want to do that one. Okay. It's a video that I stumbled upon fairly recently. It's one of the funniest and smartest comedy music videos I've seen in a while. And it clearly took them weeks and thousands of dollars to make, but after four months, they finally just hit 10,000 views. Nah, guys, you got it all wrong. What you gotta do is create bad videos. That's what people. Oh, shies! This guy is smart. Make bad videos, dude. He's like speaking to my soul right now. Make bad videos. Oh my God, this guy's speaking to my entire existence. I want to see here on YouTube? Set up that tripod, one take, and bam, ten million views. See? Oh man, but even creating bad videos means I gotta be creative and come up with ideas. Wrong. Secret number two: just copy other YouTubers. Oh my God, I did just copy other YouTubers. This guy is like so good. Okay, go to his channel, uh, Chad Well Clay. Just copy other YouTubers. You guys, I'm, I'm making something out of myself. Ugh. All right, so what kind of videos should I copy? Well, secret number three, fake pranks. Don't be like Steve Green and do- Oh, fake pranks. Oh my God, he's so right. Fake. I was gonna make fun of him because I wanted something to react to, but real pranks and get hundreds of thousands of views. Fake your pranks and get millions of views. Oh, fake pranks, get millions of views. OMFG, OMFG, mind blown, okay? Mind blown. That's how, hold up. This is how, uh, these top prank channels get tons of views by crazy pranks that are staged shies. Okay, that's smart. Secret number four, challenges. Oreo challenge, soda challenge, cinnamon challenge. Whatever challenges have been done before, you just redo them yourself. Secret number five, scream a whole lot while playing video games. I don't think we need to go into detail here, which leads into secret number six, Minecraft. Do anything Minecraft and you're guaranteed to become famous. Don't swing back in the mind, or big and swing inside to yourself. Secret Number seven, Five Nights at Freddy's. But I gotta warn you, once you start making videos for them, you can't stop. Take it from my buddy Kasich, who's now being told he should die because he stopped making Five Nights at Freddy videos. I hate to say this, but I don't believe you. I really hope you die. <laughs> like, I honestly hope you fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, daily vlogs. Everybody loves to watch- What are, what is that? And you are guaranteed to become famous. Secret number seven, Five Nights at Freddy's. But I gotta warn you, once you start making videos for them, you can't stop. Take it for- What is Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, play. Minecraft's guaranteed to become famous. Famous. What is this? Minecraft? 
No, uh, five nights at Freddy's. I gotta figure out what that is. From my buddy Kasich, who's now being told he should die because he stopped making Five Nights at Freddy video. Leave vlogs. Everybody loves to watch somebody else's life because their own life is super boring. Let them watch your life. Secret number nine, hauls. Just go out and buy a bunch of crap, bring it home, and then show everybody what you bought. Don't have a lot of money? Well, head on down to the dollar store and come on back and do a video haul. <laughs> Secret number 10, tag videos. I'm talking about the boyfriend tag and the girlfriend tag in particular. Secret number 11, the one I follow the most closely, parodies. Everybody loves parodies, and if you can make parodies, you're guaranteed success. Secret number 12, eat disgusting food, because nobody wants to eat disgusting food, but everybody wants to watch you eat disgusting food. Now, if all of those ideas seem like it takes a little too much talent or a little too much work, what you can do is react videos. What you do is you take somebody else's video and you just film yourself watching. Now, if even that's a little too much work, because uh, you know you gotta put your face in there and everything, what you can do is you can make Vine compilations. So you can just steal everybody else's Vine videos, compile them together, and just upload that to YouTube. Now, if stealing people's videos, and even worse, all the work that it takes to combine all those videos together is just too much for you, then why not just steal one, and then just slap on your own little intro, and there you go. <clears throat> You, that's a good idea. Okay, so now you've decided what kind of video you're gonna make, but now you're wondering, huh, how should I act in the video? How should I look? Be attractive! Everybody knows it. Oh my god. This guy is like, really smart. Let's come on, this isn't news. Let's move on to number 17. Scream at the computer. Secret number 18, swear or act like an idiot and just hate on everything. If you want to get into the beauty side of this YouTube industry, then what you need to do is you need to act stuck up and then put on so much makeup that people can hardly recognize you. Secret number 20 is to act like you're rich, even if you're not. Which of you follow these two? Ah, hold up, hold up. Act stuck up and cake on makeup. Okay, this guy's like really good. Okay. So you're going to be rich very soon. <laughs> Secret number 21. What did he say? Act stuck up and then put on so much makeup that people can hardly recognize you. Secret number 20 is to act like you're rich, even if you're not. Which if you follow these tips, you're gonna be rich very soon. <laughs> Secret number 20. Dude. That's so true. Oh my God. You have a high pitched voice. Have a high pitch. This guy is like, got it. He's on point with everything. He's really on point. Have an accent. Accents are sexy, unique, memorable. Have an accent. Oh, oh my God. Have an accent. Yes. Okay. I'm going to have an Australian accent or English. Or, hello, so today I'm going to be talking about, oh god, I can't, make fake accent. Make a fake accent and pretend you're from, click, Slovakia, uh, click Slovakia, I'm from click Slovakia. All right, so now you get what kind of video you're going to make, how you're going to act, how you're going to look. Now we need to sprinkle in some of those extra YouTube seasonings to really spice it up our recipe here. Secret number 23, pets. If you can have cute, adorable pets in your videos, shabam! Secret number 24, you got to have some pillows sprinkled behind you. You know, some of those subscribe, like pillows. Secret number 25, use memes. I'm talking about the just Oh, subs subscribe like pillows. That's pretty smart, okay. Talking about the D's nuts. Got <laughs> Whatever's currently trending, just throw those memes right in your videos. Secret number 26. Hold up, hold up, hold up. D's nuts. 
memes and video. Video. Uh, this guy's giving me so many good ideas. Cuts. The more jump cuts you have, the better, because everybody has super short attention spans, and you need to keep them interested. Act cheesy, have some really bad puns, and if you can, shed a tear or two. Everybody loves a good cry session. Alright, so you've got your video made. Now you need to make sure that people click into it. I now present to you the most effective, time-tested, proven method since the dawn of YouTube. Boobs in the thumbnail! Boobs in the thumbnail! Boobs in the thumbnail! Boobs in the thumbnail! But let's not stop there. Let's go to secret number 29. Red circles in the thumbnail. Let's just add a red circle somewhere and people go, whoa, what the heck? Kind of curious now. Secret number 30. Add a set. Hold up. Red circle in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Censored bar in your thumbnail. Similar to the red circle, it makes people go, huh, well, what's underneath that censored bar? All right, so you've got the perfect thumbnail that people can almost just not resist clicking into, but you need to pair it with a really good title. Like Something like, my pet gerbil has cancer. But then when they click into it, it's just you playing Minecraft. And also in the- Oh my God. My pet gerbil has cancer. <laughs> uh, video, then, video, just about, mind, Minecraft, that shit's so true, that's very true. That title, let's go to secret number 32, put for free in the title, free hoverboards, secret number 34, gone section. Free hoverboards, free in title, free... This guy's giving me some good ideas. Um, add dramatic. Hold up. Add dramatic background noises. Cool. Works every time. And to finish off our secrets for the title, let's go. Oh, wow. Okay. Um,. Okay. The secret number 34, the tick. You gotta add that little check mark at the end. It's very eye catching and people click it. I don't know. All right, so you've got an irresistible thumbnail and- You think so? Add check mark. This guy's kind of interesting. Title, but you're not getting any views. What's going on? Well, YouTube is not showing your video to anybody. First of all, you have no hope of getting on YouTube's homepage. That is reserved exclusively for people who are not YouTubers, oddly enough. First thing we'll see is the main video being promoted here is The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. And then the next section is Catch Up on Late Night. Oh, more late night videos. And then as we scroll down a little bit further, we have sports highlights. Then we have some more late night. We have Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jimmy Fallon's Lip Sync Battle, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Sports again, Saturday Night Live, The Ellen Show, more sports, Vivo, of course. Hey, another late night. Wait, that is so true. They they make such bad recommended things. I corner O'Brien there, popular right now. Netflix, so YouTube is saying, hey, man. I hate all the recommended the videos. Increase your income, become less dependent. I'm almost going to click his ad because he's done so much so well for me, but I'm not going to. I am there, popular right now. Netflix, so YouTube is saying, hey man, go leave YouTube and go watch Netflix. That's really smart, YouTube. And then to finish off the homepage, but why not one more late night show? So you're never gonna end up there, so we need a different strategy. And that different strategy is to show up in search. And how do you do that? We are gonna spam your tags in the title, in the description of your video, and then down in the tag section. All right, so you've done that, but yet you're not still showing up in search. What's going on? Well, YouTube's algorithm only wants you to be popular if you're already popular. Popular. Hmm, but that's kind of a catch-22, huh? You see, if you upload a video and it doesn't get a lot of views or watch time in the first 72 hours, ah, this isn't popular enough, we're chucking it out of here. But if you're already popular, it doesn't even matter if the video's good or not, if it gets a lot of views in the first 72 hours, it's gonna be pushed up. Oh, did you do secret number 11 and make a pair? Okay, so algorithm will be popular. Algorithm... Popular... Videos... Videos, put up, videos get pushed up and unpop, popular videos get pushed down. 
parody video? Well, I'm sorry to say that YouTube thinks there's only one person who makes parodies. I'm not jelly at all, of course not. Oh, you did secret number four, and you decided to do an Oreo challenge video. All right, and here we have the first page of results, and it's looking like you need at least 500,000 subscribers to show up on the first page here. If you have one or two or three or four million, that's a lot better. Oh, you know what? There is one video on here that has under 500,000 subscribers. Oh, they have only a measly 309,000 subscribers. Oh, but we'll let them pass. They can be on this page because he's brothers with uh, this guy here who has four million subscribers. Okay, so you're not gonna show up on the YouTube homepage. You're not gonna show up in YouTube search. How are people gonna find you? Secret number 36, collabs. But wait a second, the bigger YouTube channels probably won't wanna collaborate with small YouTube channels unless they're actually really talented. So that kind of rules out that whole idea. Have a lot of money and promote yourself. That's right, Google encourages you to promote your own videos on YouTube. Yeah, it'll cost maybe five to 10 cents per view. But hey, if you're rich, you can give yourself lots of views. What's that, you're not rich? Oh man, you're making this so difficult. Time travel back to the year 2005. Things were a lot easier back then. I'm guessing you don't have a time machine. So hack and spam your way to success. Spam for likes, spam for subs, spam those comment sections. Anything you can do. <laughs> All right, so you're hacking, you're spamming, it's working, you're getting some views, maybe you got a little bit lucky on some of the search results, but you're getting those views, but you're not getting subscribers. What's going on? Well, silly, that's because secret number 40, you have to ask people to subscribe. Even though they've clicked that little subscribe button hundreds of times before, you can't expect them to remember to click that when they see a video they like. Come on. So you're getting people to subscribe to your channel now. Whatever you do, do not upload a video once every six months. In fact, if you're gonna upload less than once a week, just give up now. Upload more, yeah, that's right, upload more. Once a week, twice a week, three times a week, every day. It's all about quantity over quality. In order to do that, that means you gotta follow secret number 43, edit all day. And now that you're editing those two videos a day all day long, secret number 44, have no life. Welcome to YouTube. You are now successful on YouTube, but you have no life. All right, that's it, gotta go. Hey, what if you told me there was 69 hacks? Yep, well number 45 says audience retention. If you, that audience retention drops down below 35%, it's time to end that video, and we are well past that mark. I hope you guys like that video. Please do leave a comment down below, because the next riff we're gonna be making is actually... Audience retention. If goes past... 35% mark and video. Are you guys still watching this? Because I could make like an hour long video. But I think he's just lying for the last one because he, he has a 10 minute long video, you know, that means. Task number two, which is Ask Chad. So feel free to ask me any questions down below and I'm gonna upload that on the day that we hit 200. You know what? I'm just going to check out this guy's channels, this guy's other videos, because... Wait, Jack's tips for how to become YouTube famous. This is, this is like really golden stuff, like... I'm really happy that... This is like really good, I like this. This is like... What was I going to do? I'm sorry about your wife. She was a good one. Okay, so what did it? What was I gonna do? I like had something I was gonna do. Maybe I like was gonna watch. Dude, that guy was. Like, oh right, I was gonna. I was gonna stop. I'm trying to stop this video. I was going to. Um, I was gonna be like watch. Maybe this channel will be like how watch me watching videos, but how to get inspired by. YouTube videos. I'm gonna make videos every day, every day, every day, every day, every day multiple times a day. I'm not gonna edit them. I'm just gonna do it. Yes! <laughs> that guy is so good. Let me check out Chad Wild Clay. Let me see his channel because he's hey. he's got a lot of energy. Okay. So he has a lot of parodies. Has still money. Um. Company parody. So he has a lot of parodies, but maybe I'll watch one of the parodies. I'm Chad Wildplay. Let's take your comments from the last parody and make a crap. Comment raps and parodies, of course. Two drinks, one dance. Brother Tom King, to a pillow say yay. He wants to be like Zane. My horse is gay, but I think he's hungry. Because he's like high. Siri, Siri.
Okay, let me just do parody videos. Okay. Parody videos. Okay. Songs with different lyrics and good background tracks. What do you guys think of this video? I'm just gonna, it's gonna be like a long, long video. This has been like 35 minutes. <laughs> I wonder how many, how much storage my thing is gonna have. But I'm just gonna upload this like now and see, like upload every day. Uh, upload every day. Up, upload every day, even if the the video is pointless. See, this guy has 281 subscribers. All right, well, it's not that's not that much. 281,000 subscribers. Game three. How are PewDiePie conquered YouTuber? Yes. All right. I'm gonna watch some of these other videos. We're just gonna keep on watching them. Game song to live for. You ever hold one of these before? Oh no, I haven't washed my hands in a long time. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To get my keys. We have a case to solve. Oh no, he did. Make sure you understand. At the end of every shift, you come back to me. Good night, baby. Good night, Martin. I don't care. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and it's vloggy time! That oh god, this guy is not... I feel like, I feel like should I react to this? Like, I feel like he's gonna be like... I just feel like he's like a person that I don't want to mess with. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm just gonna see what he has to say. That was glorious. In this vlog, I've decided to take on a topic that I and probably a lot of other YouTubers have been asked in the past, and that is... Of his 12 million subscribers. Is how to become YouTube famous. Now, I don't like referring to myself as being famous, because I'm not. I don't feel like I'm famous. I don't associate myself with fame. I'm not famous, but a lot of people tell me I am, so that's why I did the whole bunny ears thing. Look at him. Now, I'm probably not the best person in the world to be giving out advice on this because I don't have millions of subscribers. I don't have 20 million subscribers and I'm the best at YouTube ever. But I do feel like I have a few ideas. I'm looking at his channel. He's got like 12 million subscribers. I'm like, okay. But this is like made in 2014. It's down that I can give to you guys a few tips on how to actually run your channel properly if you ever do create one. I have a little list of things here. Oh, my computer, I'm so professional. I actually wrote something down this time. First and fo- See, he sounds like he doesn't, like, write things down before a video, and that's, like, really... But he's editing his videos, though, so... Foremost, I have to get this out of the way. There is no secret to YouTube. A lot of people keep asking me, Jack, what did you do to make your channel so popular? I can't just say one thing and say, oh, go post your videos here. Do this in your video, and you will become super famous on YouTube. That's not how it works. You don't just suddenly do something and then all of a sudden it's magically millions of subscribers. Well, unless you're incredibly unique and you think of something that's incredibly unique. I should use the same word twice, good job. Unless you have something absolutely amazing and it goes completely viral, like Gangnam Style or something like that, you're never just gonna suddenly snap and get millions of subscribers. That's not how it works. What you're gonna have to do with your videos and your channel as a whole is work your damn ass off. People underestimate how much time this takes. I spend hours every single day doing this stuff. If it's not recording the videos, people think I just sit at home and play games all day long and then just upload them. Fuck no, that's not what happens. I spend like 85% of my time editing those videos and putting them up on YouTube and uploading. What you gotta do is just sit down, record your videos, spend a lot of time like perfecting what you wanna do and then going off, taking the time to edit them, taking the time to edit them right, get all your settings right, um, that's a whole different topic. You have to sit down, you have to think of something to do in your video, you do. You know what I should have? I should have an automatic video editor. I'm gonna create something where I can just make like a video and then it like automatically edits it for me. So it cuts out all the excess, like, actually, it, manual editing is pretty, pretty simple, but I don't understand, how, I think that's pretty far off technology for, to like be able to, 
This guy's a little bit too perfect for me though. I really like this other guy, but this guy has, has millions of subscribers, so I mean, I guess he works pretty hard, like editing all his videos, and that makes a lot of sense. But like, what if I just upload this, this video where it's like an hour long? I'm just talking. I mean, I'm gonna break the I'm gonna break the Decepticon of YouTube, and I'm gonna just sit here and watch videos and like stream that shit. Cause I'm gonna watch YouTube videos, and I don't think you need to see like the actual video because it's just him talking. Like you can hear him what he's saying, and that means I don't have to edit the videos when I'm reacting to them, unless like they have like a picture, a certain picture. But watching this video and like watch it for an hour long, like that could get popular. I mean, the longer the video, the better. Because like, the longer the video, the more views it's gonna get. Because the more audience retention and like the more watch time, the better. And the more ads, more everything. Yay! You guys, we figured it out. We 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 quote, we broke the code of YouTube. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just take videos all day. I'm gonna stream my life. I'm gonna stream my freaking life. Well, watching YouTube videos because YouTube is my life. Okay, watching YouTube is my life. And so I'm going to sit here, I'm going to react to videos, and whether I have the actual, I'm not going to have the screen, I'm just going to like listen to videos like this. Well, for t today is, is going to be one of those, one of those videos where I'm just sitting down, watching things, trying to get ideas, because I'm sitting here and I'm like ranting to you guys about like why... I don't have a lot of viewers or subscribers and now I'm taking action and I'm watching, making this video while I'm watching these YouTubers explain to me how they got famous or uh, what types of videos to do. Like I'm just doing this and hopefully, you know, if I make, if I make this long enough, I can just do 12 hours throughout the day and upload like 12 videos a day. That would just be, that would be a fucking ama freaking amazing. I think I'm going to do that. You know what? Because... Uh, but who's gonna who's gonna have an, a spend an hour watching this? Like, like who's gonna put aside like an hour to watch a video? Well, that's why I make multiple videos because uh, I can make like an hour long video. So, so some people will sit down for an hour like after their work and be like, all right, we're just gonna watch this random video. You know what? I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. I don't want to have no life. I, editing videos really, it's its one of those things that takes up so much time and yeah, it makes it sort of better, but I'm not i am not sold on the whole editing thing because editing takes a, a long time. It's a lot of effort to put in and obviously when you have the video there, it's going to look good, but it takes a while for people to, you know, click on that crap. I don't know, PewDiePie edits his videos, but... Do the video. You sit down, you edit it to the best way that you can. Some videos don't need a lot of editing, and some of them really need a lot of editing. And then you render it down, and then you upload it. You have to put the time in to make your videos as good as possible. And no, this isn't easy. A lot of people think, because I sit at home all day doing my job, that it's really easy. It's not. It's the hardest working job I've ever had in my life. It's super hard. You are on all the time. It's 24-7. You never have days off if you're doing YouTube properly, so really work your ass off, people! Next thing I want to talk about is to... You know what? That just gives me a really insight, okay? Like, work... Work your... Okay, work your butt off, okay? Uh, spend all day editing. Editing editing and uploading and videoing. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm still on the fence about this. Ugh. Do not advertise yourself. Don't sell your channel. You're not a business unless you want your channel to be like that. But don't sell your channel as something that you just want subscribers from. You just want views and likes from. And so a lot of people are falling down on the like, come look at my videos. Subscribe if you want. Don't do that. Put yourself out there. Do good videos. Eventually it will get recognized. Eventually. Eventually it will. If you work super hard and you put the effort in and you have something that you know is good then it will get noticed. Eventually, subscribers will start coming in on their own. You don't need to go off and sell yourself as a 
business that you're just trying to do this for fame. Don't do that. This is something that I've kind of been priding myself on lately. A lot of people go off and sure, they get a lot of subscribers when they go off and say, please subscribe to my channel and please hit that like button. And if you like it, comment down below and share it with your friends. Like, that just sounds like, that sounds like an advertisement, doesn't it? I know I say smack the like button at the end of every video, but that's just kind of like a fun thing that I like to say nowadays. And whenever I hear something like that, it just turns me off. I listen to the video, and when I hear, I watched the video one time, and the guy said that right at the start. And I was just like, nah, Yeah. I'm not gonna do that now, you've turned me completely off. All you, all you want is totally subscribers agree. and views, that's not why I wanna watch your videos. The way I've been operating my channel is to not force people into anything. I just record my videos, I have fun doing them, I edit them the best I can, my editing isn't the best, and then I just upload them and see what people think. I don't go off and tell people to subscribe. I didn't, I'm not getting like 2,000 subscribers a day because I do that, which is freaking amazing by the way. I can't believe it's like 2,000 every single day for like the last month. That is insane. I haven't gone off and advertised myself to do that. I haven't gone off and forced people into subscribing to my channel to be able to accomplish that. So you do know that it's possible. And I think a lot of people have more respect for me and my channel because I do that. They mightn't realize it at first that that's not what I do. But then when they watch some other person's video, they might go, hey, Jacksepticeye actually doesn't do that a lot. And they actually get all right, he's gonna ramble a long time, so I'm just gonna end this. I'm just gonna not watch that. How to start a YouTube career. So I'm just gonna, I mean, his advice is like, is good, but I'm not gonna like spend all day. I'm gonna spend like this type. So gonna focus, Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna spend this type of time where I'm just like, I don't, I don't feel like editing my videos because I don't have time. Like, it is a job, you know? To edit videos, that's like a, a lot of work and I don't feel like working that hard. <laughs> I feel like I need it to be a part-time job. Just kind of like easy, you know? So what I take away from him is that he works really hard and he has a lot of viewers came to him but like he edits his videos which you know he has a lot of he you know can I just see how much I want to see how much this like how many views he's had gather around all you bros and wait I'm trying to oh there we go I gotta figure out how many views this guy has had over. Okay, so what? Five billion views? <laughs> okay, maybe I should take his, his advice. Five billion views. You know how much that is? That's a, lot of, that's a lot of views, okay? So, and he, he works really hard and uh, look where it's brought him, all right. But I think, let me just see, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do Twitch. I wanna just like live stream. I wanna do Twitch. Um, so, battles in there. Pokemon. Oh, you know what? He does video games. People will do video games, like, do really well. Damn. See, these people have a lot of... This is me, like, coming to realizations. This video is, like, me coming to realizations about how people do really well. I mean, this guy has five billion views. Wow. I mean, I'm taking advice from the best. I took advice from someone who has 200,000 subscribers or could take advice from, well, he, you know what he does? He does video games and honestly, selling my soul to do video games, I am, I just, I don't believe in video games, so I can't do that. So, you know, I'm, 
I gotta do it my own way. But he has five billion views, which is... He works hard, though. He's from Ireland. Darn. Alright, so... We're just gonna, like, really, like, stretch out this video. It's gonna be a long video because... I'm ready to push the barrier. But I wanna, I wanna do a Twitch. And I wanna do a Globe Africa TV. I wanna do it, do it big. I wanna do it big. I wanna do it real big. And... Why is he so energetic? Like, is that he's just his personality, or... Like, he just makes me an energetic guy, but I'm not energetic all the time. Sometimes I'm energetic, but I'm just gonna be myself. I gotta be myself and not be swayed by these people. What's going on, guys? I'm Chan Wildplay. If you've been watching this channel for the past week, you've noticed that people are coming after me, claiming my videos to take my monetization, giving me strikes, and nearly shutting down my channel. Well, I ain't putting up with that crap anymore. I'm about to expose how companies are stealing money from YouTubers. Let's get after it. <laughs> this. All right, so hopefully, hopefully I can. These are reaction type videos where I'm just like reacting to them because I don't want them to come come after me. Ah, oh, when was this made? In 2016. Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh wow. Wait a second, I can afford more than a Lamborghini. I can drive a car that PewDiePie does. Let, let's see what he drives. What the? <laughs> That's what PewDiePie drives? <laughs> I'm so sorry, PewDiePie. I didn't know that's what you drove. Stealing a YouTuber's money were that easy? Well, imagine no more because it's actually easier. All you need to do is find a YouTube video that contains something that the YouTuber didn't create, aka nearly every video on YouTube. Let's see here, what video can I claim? Wait, Selena Gomez, same old love. Ooh, let's check this out. Hi, my name is V, and today I'm going to show you how to get Selena Gomez's look from the music video Same Old Love. You know how it goes. I'm so sick of that same old love. Uh, you know that song. I'm gonna claim the money on this video. Uh, you could just use the content ID system on YouTube to automatically claim videos for you. Wait, is that easy? It's gonna be automated? Uh, yeah. Everybody's doing it. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, man. Well, you may be asking, what is Content ID? It is a system created by YouTube, which allows companies to have their works automatically claimed on videos, but there have been many instances in the past of companies or individuals claim videos in which they have no right to claim, or for the purpose of monetization. And the most fucked up part about it is that a lot of them get away with it. They will target small channels that have no way of defending themselves against the claims and steal this money from thousands of them. How to steal from YouTubers. Step one, if you're one of the 8,000 companies who have access to YouTube's content management system, use their robots to automatically go out and find videos that contain certain matches of audio or video. Step two. I feel like, uh, what about reaction videos? Choose to monetize, and you'll collect 100% of the money that would have gone to the video's creator. You now have an automated cash generating machine. Woo! And sure, yes, a company who makes hundreds of millions of dollars per year, taking money from a YouTuber who's lucky to make a couple thousand dollars a year, is a bit like Bill Gates robbing a homeless shelter. This is a stick up! Give me all your spare change before I bust a cap in this iPod! All right, so you're getting money by claiming videos that contain your copyright. At least what you're doing is completely ethical, right? Mm, no. Not when you're claiming videos that are clearly fair use. Fair use? Oh, shh. I forgot all about fair use, man. See, fair use allows YouTubers to take other copyrighted content, put it in their videos for parody, for commentary, for criticism, and various other factors. But you know what? Pro tip. Go ahead and take that video's money anyway. Because according to YouTube, 
your claim will be disputed less than 1% of the time. So that means 99% of the time, a YouTuber will just let you take their money without putting up a fight. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal all your money. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's totally cool. High fives all around. Oh, shit. Now, tons of companies already follow this little secret. So just find a video that's getting a ton of views, like my Gundam style video, for example. It's currently sitting at 10 million views. That's a lot of money up for grabs. And then, bam, here comes 26 companies trying to claim that video. Yes, 26 different companies have tried to claim ownership of this one musical composition. Now, this is part of how just the music industry made $1 billion last year. That's a lot of money they're making from videos created by other people. Good job, you're making money by claiming videos that contain your copyrights, regardless of whether or not it's fair use. That's a good start. But hey, uh, just a little secret. Uh, you don't even need to own anything in the video to claim it. But don't take it for- Oh, I thought it was like... <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna end this video because I thought it was- I thought it was about like... How... It's all about the content ID system, which like makes a lot of sense, but... And obviously it kind of like makes me a little bit like it smells so good. I need to like take a shower. <laughs> I need to take a shower and feeling kind of smelly. Um, but yeah, I was just watching that video and I was I guess this is my reaction to it. Uh, I don't I can't just I'm gonna I'm gonna finish watching that later, but I want to finish watching the like how to come up with video ideas and this is just gonna be a long video and like a streaming like twitch YouTube I mean I I just can't watch that video anymore because it's not really on par with what I'm doing I don't like Gen X pens how to come up with, with video ideas number one video response watch other people's videos and upload a video response to it number two list video this is a video of you listing ideas how to do something, like 10 ways to make a YouTube video. Number three, pet or animal video. Video your cat or any type of animal doing something silly, odd. What's the first thing she said? Number one, video response. Watch other people's videos and upload a video response to it. Number two, list video. This when is, is this made? You listing ideas how to do something, like 10 ways uh, to make a YouTube This guy, the girl talks quietly, which is good. Number three, Learn. pet or animal video. Video your cat or any type of animal doing something silly, odd, or amazing. Cat videos are most popular, though. Number four, challenges. Be challenging or daring. For instance, eating the hottest pepper in the world with your friends. And recording. People love to watch others do stupid experiences. Who you are where you grew up, up and ask people I'm just gonna battle scars okay all right I'm just gonna oh I should do that one battle scars video um see I think the reason why the other guy had like 12 million subscribers advertise or promotion advertise or promotion. Wait, that's a really good idea. Um, you can advertise for them. A personal website for a product. Try a free giveaway or prize to make it more exciting. Number eight, public service announcement. Make a video about something that's important to you, a charity or a cause of some kind. Number nine, reenact old shows or movies. Do a video remake of old movie scenes or TV shows. Try to keep it funny, humor is always best. Number 10, comedy. Have you ever thought of being a comedian, but can't take the face-to-face -face criticism? Record yourself doing something. No, I'm so bad at comedy. Uh. Scary or comical music to it. Number 12, hidden camera. Try a prank or scare someone and catch it with a hidden camera. 
Number 13, stop motion video. This is where you move something in small increments between individually photographed frames, creating the illusion of movement with played as continuous sequence. Number 14, dub or voiceover. This can be quite fun to watch, giving a voice and personality to pets or inanimate objects. Number 15, poll. Poll people about different subjects and ask them to respond with a video if possible. Number 16, story time. Record yourself telling a funny story. Number 17, narration. Provide commentary of a film or documentary, for example. Make a slideshow of your last vacation and record your voice explaining what is going on. Number 18, giveaway. Have a prize that people have a chance to win just by leaving a comment and set a date when the prize will be awarded. Number 19, contest video. People respond to your video with their own video. They are judged and the best one wins a prize. Set a date and time when all entries must be in and a date and time when the winner will be chosen and announced. Number That's 20, a good idea. beatbox, sound effects, and sounds. Make your own sound effects using anything. You can even beatbox or use instruments. Be creative. Number 21, point of view. Attach the camera to your head or aim at your head while you are going through something. For example, a roller coaster ride, skydiving, driving through town, etc. Again, be creative. Number 22, magic trick. Everyone loves magic tricks. Make a video of you or someone you know doing a magic trick. You can point of view, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is like, is this going to be really crappy? I don't know if anyone's going to watch this. <sighs> I'm just trying to get ideas for YouTube videos and like get inspired for this channel so I can really make it happen. There's only one way to know out, find out if you do well. And but I think the reason why gameplay videos do so well is because they're long. Gameplays are long, okay? And people might watch them like passively or something. Um, be creative. I, I, I think this, this whole like watching YouTube videos is gonna, is gonna take off. The only way. You can even show how it's done if you want. Number 23, putting things together. For example, a model or a puzzle or a piece of furniture. Number 24, food. If you know a lot of recipes, share them on video. That's Rachel Ray or Julia Child. Number 25, fast motion or time lapse. Make a video of city driving or a painting being painted and speed it up really fast. Number 26, slow motion. Record something happening like someone falling down and slow it way down. 27, unboxing. For some reason, people love to watch other people unbox something new. Explain the product, the cost, its purpose, etc. Number 28, reviews. Review a product or service. People want to know about something before they buy it. Number 29, video montage. A collection of pics and video clips, all put together to make one video. For example, funny animals, family vacations, use your imagination. Number 30, slideshows. The changing of seasons, plant life, animals, etc. Set it to appropriate music. Number 31, animation videos. Make your own cartoon character or make your own animation flip book and video it. If you have never done animation, there are all kinds of how-to videos on this subject. Go check them out. Number 32, question and answers. Make a video asking people to leave questions for you to answer. Then make a video with all your responses. Number That's one of those things that I haven't done. Interview. Interview someone cool or interesting. Number 34, concerts and events. If you attend a concert or event, record it. These are popular on YouTube. Number 35, special effects. Use a special effect in a video using special effects software, like an explosion that didn't really happen. Number 36, gameplay. If you are a gamer, record your best video game moves or cheats that others may be interested in. Number 37, impersonations. Make a video of you or a friend doing impersonations of celebrities or politicians. Number 38, 
rant video. Turn the camera on and just rant about pet peeves, piss-offs, irritations, etc. Number 39, dancing videos. Make a video of yourself or someone else's skilled dance moves or teach someone else to dance. Number 40, shout out. Make a video shout out to promote or thank someone. Number 41, music video. Film yourself lip syncing to a song in different places. Then put them all in sync with the song to make a music video. Number 42, parody. Parodies are just plain funny. Make a video making fun of someone else's video or music or dancing. Number 43, tutorials. A how-to video, step-by-step -step on how to do something. Number 44, so this, this person is like kind of old school, but these video ideas are way better than that other girl. Celebrities. Any video about celebrities is interesting. You can give your opinion about certain celebrities and ask people for their opinions. Number 45, recent events. Political, religious, devastating events, worldwide events will get the most responses. Number 46, music. If you can sing or play an instrument, share your talent and ask people for their honest opinions. Number 47, talk about art. A video of you talking about art or a certain artist. Number 48, artsy. A video of you or someone you know, painting or drawing, maybe quilting or sewing, etc. Number 49, skit or short movie. If you have a funny idea in your head, write out a script and make it into a short film. Number 50, blog. Video blog about your daily events. That's that. Well, I think that concludes. I mean, I'm going to keep on watching these videos, so I think I'm going to... I'm going to push the limits and I'm going to make this two hours long and just see how it does. You know why? Because I'm really up to like, I've got like a really long list here. I don't know if I should show you or not. I have like tons of scroll space and I'm coming up with good ideas with you guys. So we're going to keep on pushing the limits of this YouTube thing and we're going to, until my battery runs out, we're just going to, we're just going to make this video and we're going to upload it and then Hopefully I, you know, react to these videos in a certain fashion that's good enough, but this girl has pretty good video ideas because, like, they're all, like, very generic, but they're, like, good generic. They're, like, really solid, substantial lists, and that list videos are a good idea. I might do a list video, but... I gotta keep on watching these videos. Hello, lovely human beings. Today I'm going to be filming um, a video that I've been actually wanting to do for a Actually, she's just talking about how to. More getting ideas for YouTube. Hey guys, for today's video, I'm really excited because I'm doing 100 video ideas for summer. I have never done a video like this and for the first time I am outdoors. This I think can be really helpful for really any YouTubers like beginner YouTubers. I'm gonna make any I'm, I'm gonna make these videos. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna so yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. beat her on the bush. I'm just gonna make, make these videos. Fast, it's a lot of ideas and I don't want to make this too long. That is about it and let's go ahead and get started. Video she doesn't want to make it too long. Music playlist, monthly favorites, a morning routine, DIY room decor, 10 things all girls can relate to, things to do when you're bored, which will be really helpful by the way, things to do at the beach, beach essentials, summer haul, 100 hairstyles, summer outfit of the week, 4th of July DIYs, 4th of July outfits, get ready with me, a crazy story time, or just a story time in general, finals life hacks, which I wish I, I saw a super helpful one. No, this girl's gonna repeat everything. Everything. Diary, places to visit the summer, Tumblr picnic ideas, how I edit my Instagram photos, emoji challenge, or Kimoji challenge. Wait, what did she say before? I saw a super helpful one before I went into summer vacation. Travel diary, places to visit the summer, Tumblr picnic ideas, how I edit my Instagram photos, emoji challenge, or Kimoji challenge. Like I, I don't know. Uh. 
Oh god, this is all the same. Kimoji challenge. Lazy day outside ideas. Chit chat, get ready with me. Life hacks everyone should know. Beauty life hacks. These are all the hacks. same. DIY clothes. Summer night routine. A summer morning routine. Day in the life of a YouTuber. Day in the life of a cat, dog, boy, girl, whatever. How to stay fit this summer. Lush haul. Let's go do it. Okay. DIY clothes. Summer tag, behind the scenes YouTuber tag. Middle Shush! Behind the scenes YouTuber tag. You're saying things way too quickly. I can't uh, get it all in my head. Ugh. Oh, DIY clothes. I, I lost her at like. That's a lot. Skincare routine, hair care routine, house tour, 50 things you do not know about me. Summer tag, behind the scenes YouTuber tag, middle school advice, high school advice, which would be really helpful for any of you guys that are going into high school or middle school this year. How to start a successful YouTube channel. Reacting to my old videos. Lazy day hairstyles. Prom hairstyles. How I straighten my hair. How I cut my hair. What's in my carry-on. Boys versus girls video. Which, those are really funny, by the way. Birthday gift ideas. What I got for my birthday or birthday haul. What's on my iPhone. How to tie-dye. Seasonal inspiration. How to make money as a teen. Everyday girl struggles. Which, there's a lot of struggles, by the way. So that list can go on and on and on. Makeup struggles. What's, what it's really like being a girl. Draw my life. Or how to have the best summer ever. 100 video ideas. This girl, like, all these videos are so lame. I never watch hauls. I never watch DIYs. I never watch this crap. And it doesn't interest me. And I think that nobody gets views when people do this type of crap. I need good views. I need big ass views. And I need them big. And I need them bah. And I need to relate to boys and girls because that way I can get both humanity into it. Not just, like, girls and duh. One half of humanity. I need all of humanity to want to watch my videos. <laughs> yeah. Prank calling video. Nail art. Like prank calling video. Okay. Prank calling video. That's a good idea though. <laughs> prank calling video. That's a good idea. Um, but like, uh, I forgot. I lost her train of thought. A Tumblr Q and A. Tumblr room decor. How to be Tumblr. DIY accessories. DIY California donuts. DIY school supplies. And a summer lookbook. Uh, what else? What else? A Kylie Jenner lip kit review. Which, by the way, if you guys want to see one for me, let me know in the comments because I'm wearing one right now. I think that's about it for the list. Oh, there's people like Jimmy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Oh my gosh, I just, I don't really line up with these type of videos. The, the, what, the one that the other girl said was actually really good. I have such a long list. Oh my gosh, I have such a long list. I'm like, I, I'm just going to kick my ass and I'm going to make the videos because I have almost a thousand videos on here and I'm going to make the videos and I'm going to make it happen. I'm not going to be a wuss and I'm going to make these videos. I'm going to make it happen, people. People, I'm going to make it happen. I'm just going to work hard because that other guy told me to work hard and, you know, he might not, not have even started his YouTube channel seven years ago because the other guy started in 2007 and now he has five million views. But he works hard every day and so this other guy is working hard every day. I kind of believe that he's going to do well. But I'm not going to do parody videos. I, I might do a couple parody videos, but I'm going to make my channel unique because I don't need to be that unique though. I need to just work hard and make long videos like this. Like I'm totally okay with like just making hour and a half long videos because like that way watch time would just be like through the roof and what more watch time the higher search results. I believe you. I believe you. Ah, uh, that's 100%. Uh, watch time. I think so, yeah, watch time, because mukbang videos do really well in their long videos. Not necessarily, though. But I'm going to see how well this video does, and I'm just reacting to all these these video ideas. 31st video ideas channel. No, I don't need to have first video ideas. I need video ideas, unique YouTube video ideas. I need Hi. unique YouTube videos. I to make me look beautiful. I was watching one of my last videos, and I noticed that I rarely smile in videos, and it's very Unpleasing, but at the same time, so is my smile. Why do you feel the need to smile? Okay, you're, you're a unique person. Okay, let's hear what you gotta say. Smile. So, the middle ground is probably gonna be a line. Welcome back to another low key video. If any of you make videos on YouTube, you probably struggle with coming up with ideas, or maybe you don't. I do, so hopefully, you do too. 
Yeah. But there's also a strong possibility that I'm just a subpar content creator. So to help you out, and because I don't have the equipment to make these videos myself, I'm going to give you a list of YouTube video ideas that I've had. Okay, so this girl has 654 viewers. And what I noticed, the biggest difference between her and some of these other YouTubers, one, their jump cuts really can affect the, the more interesting of the video, because she's kind of rambling like I am, and, um, and like, so she's rambling and, okay, anyway, uh, she's rambling about things and I, I lose focus at 41 seconds. The other videos, I, like that other guy who has 200,000 subscribers, when did, when did this girl make her YouTube channel? That's what I need to know. Because, like, I feel like maybe she, she never, she started it like, because she started in 2015. Okay, so you know what? She's just beginning her journey. So these other people have worked a lot harder a lot longer. Saved on my phone. If you want to do them, please do. And let me know. Give me credit. I would love that. And applaud you so hard. But without further ado, all right. There hasn't been much of Sam and Coney. There's just like something that Zoella says a lot. Here we go. Here are some video ideas. Get ready without me. Room tour de France. It's just staying on an exercise bike in your bedroom for 2,200 miles. That is... Um, is that really quality content though? See, I'm taking this advice from a really small YouTuber. And I kind of feel like she's not popular. Because she su suggested me to do a bike... Bike video... Hold up. Video tour de France. 220,000 miles workout video. I smell really bad right now. I really need to just take a shower or something. Ugh. Quality content. Would I watch it? Don't know. Who's doing it? Who's on the bike? Over the counter drug call. Under the counter drug call. Q and J. You find a man named J, you ask him a bunch of questions. See what he has to say. Humans of New York guy would probably love that. Comment down below. Or I guess if your name is Ray Faye, gender equality. What I tweet in a day. Try on your mama hole. What I tweet in a day. See, I just, I guess I just don't get YouTube. I don't understand like what YouTube is all about. I just, it confuses me. It confuses me a lot because I don't watch YouTube videos. I watch like music. It's a try on haul, but your mum's the one trying on the clothes you bought. Just kind of see if your jeans are really that similar. A pun. Jeans. Mm. What's in my emotional baggage? My morning routine. It's not a joke. Some people actually really need a lot of help dealing with grief. And I think it would just, if you are a content creator and you've gone through something that has caused you to experience grief, maybe just kind of do others a solid help them out. Expectations versus reality videos versus expectations and reality. Are we on the same wavelength? No. My natural nose experience. DIY, DIY video. The joke there was that most people who do DIY videos get a lot of help from Awesomeness TV and whoever else. But I, that didn't really land. Wrap my life, haiku my life, cross stitch my life, watercolor my life, I would accept. Outdoor charcoal stitch. Wait, 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 that's mad cool. Haiku my life, cross stitch. Wrap my life, hold up. Wrap my life, haiku my life, cross stitch my life. Watercolor. Oh 
That's not a good idea. Sketch my life. Watercolor my life. I would accept. Outdoor charcoal sketch my life. Claymation my life. Claymation my life. Claymation my life. Chalk my life. Any motor wrote a song. That makes me feel really upset and jealous. The no arms challenge seems somewhat offensive to a niche percentage of society. Monthly flavorants. That's a clever pun that someone with a cooking channel should have used. But my vision is that it's just me talking about my favorite flavor of laughing gas that I got at the dentist that month. As I am inevitably at the dentist most months. And the months where I'm not at the dentist, I'm in trouble. Something worse is happening. What I don't eat. I gotta go to the dentist. For me, that would be a considerably shorter video than a what I eat in a day video. Quick and easy, extremely heated hairstyles. Extreme heat hairstyles. Like so much heat, you don't, you don't know what's gonna happen. It could be like that video where the girl's chunk of hair just comes off. I wouldn't be above watching that. My workout what's in the Panama Papers routine. I haven't established a routine yet, but I guess for people who are really interested in the Panama Papers, but also like many of us, just kind of feel overwhelmed at the task of digging through the crap, and you don't trust conventional media. So maybe just some advice for a fellow researcher. I've been scrolling through YouTube just to look for videos that people typically do so I can make jokes of this video. I love how people do unofficial apartment tours. What does that even mean? See, what really worries me is that when I've watched these other videos made by bigger YouTubers, they have all these sound effects, okay? They have sound effects, they have editing. This girl is editing, but she rambles a, sh a ton and I'm losing interest. And if I wasn't doing it for this video, I would have clicked off at like 40 seconds. So, we're just gonna click, click off our video in. in all right. We're recording. All right, time to sit down and make. He has 18,000 subscribers. See, this is just what an average YouTuber is like. Like, what me? But when did he make his channel? I need to understand this. Like, because people can actually make better videos the longer they are on YouTube. I've just noticed that. So, when has this guy made start his YouTube channel? In 2012, ooh, that's not really that good. But, I mean, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm like taking advice from like, and the big YouTubers, the reason the other guys are big are because one, they do parody videos, and two, they do, my knees really hurt right now. I don't know why. Um, they do parody videos and they do, Gameplay videos. Those do really well. So I'm just like, who is gonna watch this? Like, I feel like if I can't watch it, then who is gonna watch it? Uh, that's that's advice that that I kind of uh, align with. How many videos does this guy have? How many videos? Um. How do you see how many videos he has? I guess I don't know, but I'm assuming not many. But I gotta, I gotta make it, make it a little bit of a. Well, he he has um seven months, eight months. All right, so he's done a lot of he's done a lot of videos, but like. I think some of the bigger YouTubers collab with bigger YouTubers. That's why they're like so famous because they live in LA and they're all like f you being YouTubers collabing with other people. Hey guys, so today I am making a video on. I've already watched that one. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit tired. <laughs>
What's up guys, I'm Evo here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video. It's more of a commentary on how to come up with video ideas and commentary topics for your videos. Today, pretty much what I was doing was trying to think of a video idea. You know, for me what happens is I either have a bunch of video ideas which I want to make right away, or I go through this block where I'm completely lost and I have no idea what to make a video about. So today at the back of my head, I was just thinking about like what I could possibly make a video about. My mind was completely blank, and I just thought, hey, why not just make a video about how I come up with ideas and how you can come up with topics to talk about. So today, we're going to be doing just that. So the first tip I have for anyone that's making videos and wants to come up with more ideas is to write down every single possible idea you have whenever you get the chance. Keep a notebook or some sort of way so to jot trying. down anything that comes to your mind, even if it's a tiny idea or the wildest idea, write it down and keep it safe because you never know when you can go back to it. Even if you already have video ideas for the next 10 years, write down any small idea you have just so you don't forget it and you can go back to it later on. The second tip I have is to make a video about something that's happening in the world. Now, this doesn't have to be an outside topic, but it could be. So for example, you can look on the news, you can see what's going on in the gaming community, you can see what's going on in the real world. Remember that since you're making a commentary, it can be about anything you really want it to be. So just look and see if there's something that affects you, pertains to you, or something that you really want to talk about, and just make a video about it. You can use news sites, you can use social media, and if you don't want to make a video about a world or a trending topic, you can always make a video about yourself as well. This can be a life story, it can be a commentary, it can be a lesson, it could even be just you talking about your day. Just talking about things that have happened to you and things you've experienced could definitely be entertaining to viewers, whether it be you know teaching them a lesson, or it could be for entertainment, or it could be a tutorial. Your commentary can be about literally anything, and it's just finding those ideas which is the hard part. There's also a little game I made up which you can play to help think of video ideas, and that's to think of a random word, and then think of words that connect to that word until you find something that you can make a video about. So say for example my word is entertainment, uh, I can connect entertainment to movies, and I can connect movies to Fast and Furious 7, I can do a commentary on that movie. If I wanted to keep going, I can connect the movie to cars, I can connect it to maybe a story where I blew up my mom's car or I scratched it. And as you can see, you can just keep doing that, just keep connecting different things until something pops into your head because you haven't thought of it yet and playing this game can help you think of that idea. You can always ask your subscribers or your friends and family as well for video ideas and just even get inspiration off others. Don't copy them, but if someone's doing, say, tutorial videos and you want to try it out yourself, there's no harm. Don't be worried to try new things on your channel as well. If you have an idea that you haven't done before, I would recommend you go and try it out. But yeah, that's about it for this commentary, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, Thank you, that was really good. I learned a lot of things. So I'm gonna be saying that like, I'm gonna write down like things, videos for like t 10 years. And I'm gonna literally just do all of these videos. I'm gonna make it happen, but some of them require editing. And you know what I feel, you know how I feel about editing? I don't like editing, but like, I'm gonna get uh, ideas from other YouTubers. I'm gonna get, uh, I need to find, I need to find, oh yeah. Okay, I need to like make a big space so I, I make my list. Uh, make 10 years of ideas written down. Okay, I'm gonna write this one down. Uh, turn on camera and watch videos and react to them etc etc uh open twitch and do live stream See, I could do a live stream and like talk, I could do... I'm just like, really uh, coming up with ideas right now. Um, so that, that was good. This is going to be a long video, like who's going to watch this for like an hour and a half? Well, we'll see, 50 YouTube videos. I gotta... <laughs> You guys, I'm gonna come back to this because I'm really tired and I, I, I need to like do some things. So I'm gonna upload this and then maybe like make a video, a second channel, a second 
video based on that. But I think an hour and a half is like a good place to stop. So please subscribe, like this video, and like this video, comment if you want more like this, or if you just were bored and you just clicked out in the first second. Alright, well thanks for watching. Bye!